So far in this series, I've talked a lot about the front end of the eye, particularly the reporting and presentation needs. But there's an old saying which is particularly relevant, garbage in, garbage out. It doesn't matter how great your scorecards and dashboards are, if the data they're displaying is wrong. Fortunately, Microsoft can provide some great tools for managing your data. This data management part of the business intelligence stack comes in the form of SQL Server 2008 R2, along with the associated services. SQL Server uses integration services to bring data into SQL, analysis services to build dimensional cubes and do data mining, and then reporting services to display the information. I've already talked a bit about reporting services in Report Builder 3.0. This time I'm going to talk about integration services. Integration services is what allows you to bring together data from a variety of sources and combine them in a way that is meaningful. This is called the Extract, Transform and Load, or ETL, process. You can start an integration services project without any special tools or programming knowledge. Here I have SQL Server Management Studio. In this scenario, I want to take some data from a flat file and import it to a SQL Server database. Here is my Contoso Retail database. I'll right click and go to the Tasks menu. One of the possible tasks is to import data. This opens up the wizard to let me import data into SQL. The first step, naturally, is to choose my data source. I'll choose the flat file option, and then I just browse to find the file in question. There are a couple of options, such as whether or not the first row contains column names. Next I get a preview of my data so I can check it looks correct. If I wanted to, I could make changes around authentication. Then I get to make choices about the destination. If I click on Edit Mappings, I get to see the details of where the data is going. Here, the default choice is to create a new table. If I wanted to, I could edit the SQL behind it. And if appropriate, I could change the settings so that this data would go into a table that already existed. Now I'm asked if I want to run this or save it. The wizard is actually creating the SQL Server Integration Services project. I'll choose to save it so I can look at it later. Because I've said I wanted to save, I'm asked to pick a location in farming. Finally, I click finish and away it runs. Depending on how much data you're importing, this might take a little while. This import has succeeded. So I can come back to SQL and refresh my list of databases. Now I have this new transactions table in my list of tables. That's how easy it is to do a straightforward import into SQL 